Hey guys, I'm just in the shop here just making some more wolf drags for those new traps I brought or I bought. Um, just wanted to show you just uh, quick, real quick, the steps in making them. Okay, so this is half inch rebar. Um, the pieces are 54 inches long that I use, so you can use 60 inches long if you want them a little bit bigger. But first off, you take your torches at the halfway part, heat this up red hot, just bend it into this shape here. You see? Step number one. Step number two, at that junction you weld it both sides. And step number three, you take, you get it down to where it's level. And I'm gonna show you that. I'm not gonna show you the welding, obviously, because I don't wanna burn out my camera or do whatever I might do. But now I'm gonna weld it right here again at the, the junction there. Okay, so like I was saying, I'm gonna weld it again right there, about six inches from the other one. And then this other rest of it's gonna be all bent into a, a shape like so. And I'll show you that once I get going. This one here is not welded yet, by the way. So anyways, your first, like I said, step one, weld there. Get the two pieces running level, parallel to each other, and then weld it there. And then we start bending it. All right, show you that in a minute. Double weld in there. And now we have to bend the uh, piece it into shape. Here, here. As you can tell, I'm not a welder. I'm just somebody who lives out in the country and doesn't have to want to have to run to a welding shop all the time. So I bought a welder and started throwing bubble gum together. But it works. So. separation there. So now we'll move it down to here. This thing's still pretty hot. And start getting that curve in there. This one here I gotta get started so it doesn't interfere with the other. Now I know a lot of the ones that you buy, and a lot of the, you might see them, they're going to tell you um, 5 8 3 bar, which is perfectly fine, but I've never had a, a wolf straighten out a half inch rebar. Bending until you get it in the shape you want. I'm just going to bend this one in a little bit more. I got a perfectly good drag hook for 
for trapping wolves, coyotes, whatever. And what I'm going to do is just bend this one this way a little bit and this one this way so that they will not only just slide along the ground, but no matter which way they are, one side can get hooked into roots and whatnot else. Um, so that it doesn't have to just get caught on a tree and get caught on anything on the ground too. For that we just get tighter. So this one straightened out a little bit. So like I said, just keep bending it until you get it in the exact shape you want. drag hook there now. Alrighty. Which I want to show you here too. I make anchors out of the rebar also. I got 20 inches long. The end of it is a big nut. Whatever size rebar you use just go find a nut that'll fit on top. Weld it on there good. And then I don't... And see, this is a big washer here. And it just fits right in there. Hammer that into the ground. And then you've got a built-in swivel. The coyotes can just go around and around on that. And... Uh, I just drill a hole in here into the washer big enough for your stake swivel to fit in there. Ready? Just wanted to show you that real quick. So anyways I'm going to finish up these two hooks I need for tomorrow and uh, get in the house.